Hello beautiful ones, this is Dr. V. If you are new to this channel, I want to give you a big hug and welcome you to the most incredible community of loving and supportive souls who are on a journey to love. What we do here is tarot readings that are based on helping you to unite or reunite with the person that you love. So labels don't matter. It's all about energy. It's all about your feelings. So take the messages as they come and use the term divine masculine and divine feminine as it works for you. Now, I quickly just want to answer a couple of questions that I've been getting a lot of. So people have been asking what the decks are that have the um, beautiful kind of specific messages. So this one is the one that has the roses on it. This is the shadow and light deck, which is this one, because see all three of these I created specifically for all of you who are on this journey to love. So they are called twin flame decks, but the labels really don't matter. It's entirely up to you. It's really about the love connection. So that one is the shadow and light. And then this one that has the flowers on it is the twin flames in separation messages. And then this one, the main twin flame oracle is the one that I always use here from this pile. Okay, so let's get into today's reading. Now, our first question for spirit is, what is the divine masculine's current energy coming into this reading where are you divine masculine hmm whoa some strong energy is coming through wow i love this oh my gosh huge spiritual lessons lots of momentum going on here this is wonderful Okay, divine masculine. Hmm. What is going on with you, divine masculine? All right, so Now, there are some very strong energies coming through here for the masculine. So we are going to start right here because I love this. So for his overall energy, your masculine got the will card. So this is really about him in the energy of wanting to use his will to create the things that he wants in his life. Like he is really focused on figuring out how to take real action, action that's going to get him results and to really be able to master his will. And I feel that that also has to do with the way that he um, disciplines himself, right? As in like, it has to do with, is he as focused and self-disciplined as you need to be in order to get the results that you want? Because see, he is looking for this, See, this judgment card is all about rebirth, rejuvenation, wanting to do things in a new way. And I love the fact that it is paired with the king of wands because what this tells us is that your masculine is in a huge energy of wanting to take action and to really change things up. What I'm feeling from him is that he is really tired, really tired by crap that has happened in the past. Like he's really very impatient. It's like he doesn't like what happened in the past. He doesn't really like even thinking about it. See, there are memories of things that happened 
between you as well as things that happened in his general life in the past that are obstructing him as in like they're keeping him down he doesn't like thinking about those things because he feels that he went wrong in many ways and he took some wrong decisions may have taken some actions that he is not at all proud of and so what he's trying to do is put that energy behind him and that is a really good thing because, right, the only way that you are going to uh, renew yourself, reinvent yourself, um, be a new person is to learn from your previous mistakes, right? Grow from them, which is exactly what he's doing here. See, I love this combination for you feminines who are watching this for your masculine, it's like, it's incredible. There's a synchronicity that ties all three of these cards together, which is him desiring a reinvention of himself, desiring to be a new kind of a man, going within, which is what the high priestess is all about. How can you do that, right? You can't do that unless you really go inside and introspect, right? So there's a process that you go through of introspection that is going to lead you down the path of reinventing yourself so that you can take a long, hard look and be honest with yourself and fix those aspects of yourself that need that growth, right? So this is just a beautiful energy. And I think what he is doing here is that his overall goal is to take the, these two energies and create in himself with the power of his will, which I love, into this King of Wands. Because the King of Wands is really a very dynamic, interesting man. This is a man who goes out into the world full of self-confidence, full of passion and excitement, and really wants to get things done, and is no longer okay with dilly-dallying, and is now actually ready to take ownership. He's going to step up and not try to... Um, run away from his problems because see the thing is in the past and i feel that these this is the energy that he was in and that's why we again we get this memories to remind us that in the past he's in this energy of being the runner okay and so if this resonates for many of you this may right that when th things got very deep in this connection between you and your masculine see this spiritual connection, this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime, right? So this is a definite past life, deep rooted connection. And sometimes when that happens, especially if you are on the twin flame journey, what this spiritual connection does is sometimes it really triggers the masculine and sometimes the feminine in ways that are very scary for them and what that what can happen is that it can trigger that fight or flight response and it can trigger that running response so see escape from emotion and confusion on the run and then see this message from his shadow side it's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you, okay? So this is something that he is not happy about. See, look at this. I think this is brilliant. Look at this thief card. I'm feeling very strongly here, feminines, that your masculine feels that he robbed himself of something so precious. Look at this. By being too afraid, by running away from this love, from this connection, by being triggered by it, this thief is really him, but who is being robbed? No one other than him. And then unfortunately, as a result of that, you as well, right? Like you, you know, the relationship suffers because he has chosen to rob himself and you of the beauty of this connection. And so this is something that he absolutely doesn't want anymore. And the reason we know this is because of this judgment and this King of Wands. So it's like he knows that if he wants to change what happened, if he wants to evolve from it, then the only way to do that is to really step into this King of Wands energy because anybody who is a scared runner is not the King of Wands. 
Because the King of Wands never backs down. He's never afraid. He doesn't run. And even if he is afraid, he handles his fear. He knows how to manage it. He knows how to still be a man and live with the fear, but still move forward and still go out there and get what he wants. Look at him. He is a fighter. So I love this feminine. This is excellent. And it's absolutely necessary, don't you think? It's like, unless you really claim that, how are you ever going to move forward and be in this kind of connection, especially if it is a, a twin flame connection or it doesn't matter, immortal, beloved, soulmate, it doesn't matter. It requires these connections require both parties to be very courageous, to be very committed, right? So then let's take a look at what is the current energy of the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, where are you currently in your energy? Wow, very interesting here. Interesting you're getting these reversals. So we're going to look into why that might be feminine. Yeah, see, that makes sense too. Divine Feminine, where are you? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. Feminine, look at you. You are, your overall energy right now is focused on your masculine. Wow, amazing here. Okay, so now that we know that that is a little bit dominant in your energy right now, let's take a look at what's going on here. So maybe this is why we're getting some reversals as the feminine is working through some of these energies. So definitely you are in a split energy because it makes sense if things have been like a roller coaster in this connection. If you've been going up and down, if you've been in some sort of a separation, I'm also feeling that many of you are in um, third party situations as well, right? Like there's some issue with other people who are involved, other people who are influencing this connection. Um, you know, it's so interesting. I've been feeling a lot from the collective vibration that many people right now in the world who are um, choosing to stay in relationships that are not going anywhere. They are in partnerships that have been dead for a very long time, but they're there for various reasons, right? We're all human. You know, sometimes there are just too many issues and obstacles in the way. But the fact remains is that the overall energy there is that of dissatisfaction, discontentment, not feeling or getting the love that you want in your life. And so I've been feeling this a lot that people are struggling with being in connections and relationships that are unfulfilling. And so again, this may not resonate for everybody. This is a general reading, right? So take the messages as they come. If they don't resonate for you, that's absolutely fine. If you need guidance on your specific situation, that's what a personal reading is for. The link for that is in the box below. So that is for some of you. So that's why I'm feeling, look at this, this, this is the nine of swords in reverse, as well as the four of wands in reverse. So it's interesting how feminines, what you're really looking for here is to get out of this energy of the nine of swords. You have been really, really stressed out and emotionally exhausted over your masculine. And you have come to a point where you're fed up with that. Your desire is to be at peace. You don't want this anymore. But the problem is, is that you haven't felt emotional fulfillment. You feel that your masculine 
is not giving you the satisfaction that you want or the relationship or the connection isn't emotionally satisfying. And so that's why you're also getting this energy of the four of wands in reverse, which four of wands is all about wanting to celebrate something good, wanting to celebrate something positive with the person that you love. It could be a wedding. It could be just a simple thing as having a beautiful date together. But that energy is really a positive energy of wanting to see progress of wanting to celebrate steps forward and you're you haven't been getting that and so I feel really really bad because that's what's kept you in that swords right that nine of swords heavy energy of stress so that's something that you definitely are trying to get out of and that's why I see you got the pathway card so you've been looking for a way to manage this to get back to your equilibrium feminine to get back to a point where you feel really good and that's why at least to your benefit and credit, you are very aware, you are very conscious of that, and that's why you are trying to focus on your own expansion. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love, right? So this is beautiful. You're really connecting with your heart. You're really trying to just take it easy on yourself, be gentle with yourself, which is exactly what you should be doing anyway. And look at this, three of coins or pentacles. You really want to work with your masculine on this together. You're looking for some teamwork here. You want him to communicate his willingness to work with you as an equal partner. And that is so important, you know, and it is so practical and logical of you feminine, right? Like as you are in this very heart-centered space, I love the fact that you are still open and willing to bring your masculine in, in this equal partnership so that you can see what can be worked out together. I love this. That's a very positive resolution, I think, to some of these heavier energies and the split energy that you have been dealing with. So that's excellent. Okay, let's pause here so that we can do our affirmation of the day. And so today's affirmation is all about really celebrating yourself and really reminding yourself, masculines and feminines, all you beautiful souls, that you are so worthy and unique in this world. There is no one here who is you. You are the only one of a kind in this world and you have much, much to give and contribute. And so write in the comment box below, I am unique. Nothing can replace me. I am unique. Nothing can replace me and definitely focus today on how beautiful and unique you are and that there is isn't it incredible in this world of billions of people there is no one else like you really think about that think about what a miracle that is and how special you really are I love it. So spirit, please tell us what is the connective energy between the masculine and the feminine at this time? What is the energy of their connection? Hmm. What is the connective energy? Oh my God. Look at this. Oh, Wow, spirit, <laughs> incredible, wow, oh my God. Another masculine car, oh my God. There is something very big going on here, guys. Look at this, a second masculine card, okay? There is something big, big. There's big shifts going on in the masculine right now. I, I can feel it, definitely, oh my gosh, wow. Huge shifts. What is the connective energy spirit between the masculine and the feminine at this time? Oh, wow. Look at this. Wisdom. 
Wow, I just love this. Look how powerful this is. And look how much in alignment these messages are with how we started this reading with the divine masculine and what his energy was, right? His energy of wanting to reinvent himself, wanting to have that judgment, that renewal, wanting to be a new kind of man. And of course, where does that come from? Wisdom, right? That introspection that we were talking about, learning more and more about yourself and who you are in this world. This is so beautiful. I love this. And look at this, okay? Wow. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation of what I was saying about how I've been feeling very, very strongly that in the collective, there is a lot of energy surrounding third parties. It's all about the fact that, again, many people right now in the collective are choosing to stay in partnerships that are no longer serving them. And they feel trapped in those partnerships. But the thing is, they have free will. So whether it is your feminine who is in a partnership right now, where she is not happy, or if it's your masculine who is in some sort of a partnership or connection right now where he is very unhappy and fulfilled. This is definitely part of many of the connections that we are channeling right now. It is huge. And unfortunately, it so saddens me to say that it is a major obstacle. This is currently breaking hearts, um, destroying inner worlds, like really just keeping people in low vibrational states because they are so torn and they're so devastated because either they cannot be with the person they love because that person is in a partnership that doesn't serve them, or that person who is in a partnership is so torn themselves because they cannot leave. So there's a lot of turmoil when it comes to this issue. And I'm really glad that Spirit has brought this to our attention because I know many of you guys are suffering from this and my heart really goes out to you because unfortunately, if your masculine and feminine is in this situation, there's not much you can do, right? Like they have to make the decision if they are the ones who are in some sort of relationship or partnership that isn't serving them. For some of you, and again, this is a general reading, so this may not be for all of you, but I definitely know that many of you are going through this. So this is part of the connective energy, right? The masculine. Okay. He is showing up big. There's some big shifts in this energy. And see, I feel that that's what this is all about. See the six of swords and the nine of pentacles to me are the cards that are specifically related to this issue of the third party. Because see what may be holding your beloved, if they are in that situation, they are unable to really be in this Six of Swords energy, which is about moving forward, about putting things behind you that are not serving you, right? If you are able to get into this boat and turn your back forever on those parts of your life that are not fulfilling you anymore and you're going towards a new horizon, then you will be able to change your situation. But what I'm feeling here is that many of your beloveds are, are not allowing themselves this new way. They're not allowing themselves this situation. And I believe it's because of this. Many of them, it's because of this nine of pentacles is the card of financial security. So many of you and your beloveds may be in this situation where for the reason of financial ruin or huge financial losses or the loss of also, I think it's the loss of the 5D life that you have already created, right? Around you, right? Sometimes we are in a long-term committed relationship, whether it's a marriage or, or, or just a partnership. It really doesn't matter, but we have created 
um, a life around that. And we have, we may have a specific home. We may have real estate. We may have investments. We have property. We have children. We have so many things that are intermingled in this nine of pentacles that it just becomes impossible for your beloved to leave this. So, wow, this is really important. This is part of this energy. And so you guys who are in this situation are going to have to make some sort of decision because see, the thing is, is that there is definitely an element here of this being a distant horizon. Like it's going to take a lot of effort on the part of your beloved to come towards you if this is what they are struggling with, right? If this is the issue that they have in their life, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to feel distant for them. There's a difficult energy here. So express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. So see, I'm feeling that some of you are again in this, um, in this situation where it's almost like you have to share the attention of your beloved with somebody else in some way okay and so what eventually happens is that you settle for the scraps right you settle for small things any kind of small things that you can get from your beloved and eventually that is not going to feel good to you right so again this may not be your reading if this doesn't resonate for you, but we are definitely right now connected to those who are in this situation. Now, what I find interesting here, though, is that you have this Queen of Wands energy. If you look at the masculine's energy coming into this reading in the first place, it was one of renewal and rejuvenation and rebirth, right? So... What I'm feeling here is that there is some group of masculines that have the desire to move because this Queen of Wands is about wanting to take action. And when we couple that with that judgment card, with that King of Wands card, it's a lot of Wands energy, a lot of passion, a lot of action-oriented energy, and then the masculine card coming up twice. So this is why I'm feeling that for some of you there, even though this is for some of you, it's going to be distant horizons, right? Your masculine or feminine is not going to be able to break away. But for some of you, they really want to and they may actually do it. So this is very, very interesting. It's going to be very interesting to see which ones are going to and which ones are not, right? Because there's no way that we can know that. This is all about individual free will, karma, past life relationships. There's so many elements to this, precious ones. I know it's so hard, right? For those of you who are going through this, it's extremely difficult. But what I, all I can say is that regardless of what you see here, the best thing you can do for yourself is to focus on your own joy, your own progress, living your best life and not being dependent on someone else leaving a situation to be with you. I know that's really Really tough but otherwise what you're gonna do is you're gonna put yourself into misery right and why should we do that why should we choose misery <laughs> want to choose happiness and peace so then let's get some advice from spirit spirit can you give us some advice as we move forward sometimes in these you know difficult situations what can we do to further empower ourselves Wow, fast. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Wow, thank you, Spirit. So see, again, I feel like this is Spirit really confirming and aligning with the idea that you, whether or not you're in the situation with a third party or not, either way, you are an immortal soul. soul. You are a unique and powerful being in this world. You have much to give and contribute. So practice your own independence. Practice your own foundations of love, gratitude, peace, well-being, and joy. Practice that for yourself first before anything else. 
Okay, so I hope this reading, I know this was a difficult one because I know that many of you are in pain. I know many of you are struggling with these third party situations. So I want you to know that you guys are in my thoughts and prayers always. I pray for you every single day. I want you to come out of this pain and back into joy. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me where we can go in deeper on what is going on in your specific situation, then the link for that is in the box below, as well as the link to all of these Oracle decks that I've created specifically for all of you who are on this journey to love and union. Okay, so you know how much I love you, you know how much I believe in you, and I'll see you all on the next video.